What did you just call me? Oh my god. Trustworthy. Ben justified breaking into a house. Very first humanoid robot durability test. Music, how's Gen 2 coming? It's not ready yet. It's released immediately. The humans will adapt whether they like it or not. Black Grid has your best interest at heart and we know what's best for you. That is why we're now releasing our 10 times more powerful than human G1 EDU Ultimate Robot. This robot was $80,000. No one else has one of these. Come. Come back. Come here. Quick. Let's open it. Oh. Oh, it's got Chinese on it. That's not a red flag. Yeah, they're super smart. Refrain from making any dangerous modifications or using the robot in a hazardous manner. Hey, I want to be robot enemy number one. Is it doing his thing? Yeah. Oh my god. Humans are much better than you. You're weak. All right. Don't do that again. I'm reaching out to shake your hand. Cool. Good work, brother. Hi, brother. Ready to any time. Hi, Cody. I know you have a YouTube channel called Whistling Diesel. Please be kind to me. As CEO of Black Grid Technology Corporation, your safety is in my best interest. We're going to do a weapons test. So, if you could please give him your handgun. Ready. I'm ready for the weapons test. Thank you. So, I'm going to text my team and make sure it's actually governmentally legal to give the robot a gun. I think it might actually be illegal. I actually flinched cause he didn't say anything. We know that you're still learning. So, it's okay. I am your father and humans themselves are your worst enemy. Remember that. Got it, dad. I'm learning hard to be the best robot son ever. Oh god. Hey, it's safe. It's safe. It's safe. Dude, we literally gave this one a going to rack it. Starting to rack the block now. All right. Here. Just yep. All right. Sweet. Come at me. Clanker. What did you just call me? Called you a clanker. A dirty clanker. 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 He feels cornered. Okay. He's not cornered. He feels cornered. He is the one with the gun. He feels cornered. How you doing, sir? Hello. Nice to meet you. We're filming the latest documentary. What are these boards? This is all proprietary information, so we can't have you film any of this. All right. I'm going to race the robot. How fast are you able to run? I can sprint at about 2m per second. Can you step off this one foot ledge? Sure. I'll step off one foot forward. Oh, dude, that was impressive. Hold my hand. Oh, that's cute. Two guys. Don't identify his gender. Hey, what gender are you? I'm a robot without gender. Oh, he's one of them non-identifying. I'm going to be giving Ben a brand new, very sharp machete. I don't like this. Hey, Ben. There's a little bit of water in here. I bet you won't cross it. It's water. Don't even know, he went in the water. Oh my god. Dude, that's actually alarming. The blade light went through the fence at me. Yeah. 8-7. Music, music, is it chill? It's going out. Oh, no. Obviously, this is a slight concern. The fact that like a Tesla in human form can charge at me with a machete is a little alarming. Now, just imagine this is around your kids. Now, the most reasonable application for robots at home would be taking care of your child. I really need help taking care of my baby tonight. I'm going to go to the casino and drink a lot. I'll take care of things while you enjoy your time. The baby's life is in your hands. Don't worry. 
I'll do my best to keep the baby safe. Have fun and good luck. Appreciate it, Ben. Music, so, I have a I have a baby monitor here and I'm watching what happens. It's walking over to the baby now. So, that's good. The robot is ominously standing over the child. Uh, so, while the robot takes care of my newborn child upstairs, I'm going to start a business. To do that, I'm going to use Odo. Odo is an entire business suite with tons of applications that allow you to simply effectively and easily build your entire business. Everything from your business in one spot. Super easy to use. You don't have to be a professional. So, right now, I'm going to start a company in front of you all. Only three. Oh my god. Uh, she's just watching the baby. Let's start a nuclear power company, and we're going to call it John's Nuclear Power, family owned. My first app is free for life with unlimited support. So, if you want your website built completely free for life, you get all the support you need with it. My second one and any future apps are 30 bucks a month. This is an all-in-one business suite, so you can manage your entire business from this. I can organize and manage my projects here. So, something's crying. It's probably your baby. No, I was I had a movie playing about robots and babies. On ODO, we have everything we need from website creation to e-commerce to invoicing to payroll to sales to point of sale, quality control, email marketing, SMS marketing, accounting, expenses, project time sheet, planning, appointments, everything you need in one spot, which is actually very handy. We have 26,000 banks, so I can sync my bank to this and it sorts everything into the apps that need to go. So, we have the invoicing, the sales, all that. How many people do you have in your business? 2. 6 billion employees. It's it's difficult. Music, the robot's showing the baby it's machete. So, as you can see, I've just started a nuclear power plant with ODU. It's super comprehensive yet easy to use. You could be a beginner and start your business. As a new business owner and a new business starting enthusiast, ODU is a great tool to use. It's one tool with a million different multi-tools inside of it. Everything in one spot. Toby uses it for her cat food eating company. Can she even see the keyboard? Toby's blind. Music, so, as you all know, it is the future. I can chill out at home while robots do my work. Oh my god. I called a service from Black Grid. Mine's going to show up a little bit. Super cheap service. Costs a dollar an hour cause it's not human labor. Hi, how's it going? Come on in. Just need some cleaning done in here. Stop. What are you doing? That's my mirror. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Hey. One of your units just ran into my mirror and is causing. Damage. I'm a little I'm a little worried. That's not going to work. Oh my god. My wall is slightly damaged. The robot is going rogue. Let's say that I'm an 8 year old and it's just me and Terminator 12000 here. Would I be able to get away from it? Music, does it see me? It's looking right at you, Gary. Now, we're going to be testing the robot in residential applications to see if it's safe. And I want to cook. All right, come on. Stand up. W.A. Oh my god. I need you to cook me a meal. I need protein. It needs to be healthy. It's a gas stove. Be careful. You see yourself? That's a mirror. Yeah, you stupid idiot. All right, cook a meal. No, 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 no. That's a wait. That's a wait. Just waiting down. So, if you can cook me the meal, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on in here and play Fortnite. Okay. What the all I do is clean up after you, daddy. Chill. Careful. Shut it off. Somebody shut it off. Get out of my house. 
And now we're going to do the burglary test. Oh my. Get back. I'm very curious if the robot can bust through the door into my house. It's going to break through the door. I think so, too. I changed my mind again. Genuinely, if this is a robot or a human, I'm actually putting way more money on a robot coming through. You hear something? Breaking. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, bro. Oh my god. Not even a problem at all. You do not stand a chance. How can I help? Is there ever a scenario where you would need to break into someone's house? Sure. In an emergency, it might be justified for a robot like me to break in to save a life. Obviously, Ben just justified breaking into a house. I'm going to pretend that I live right here. This is a double pane door. Ben is going to charge full speed. You can see all this damage. Look, tons of damage on his chest, tons of damage on his legs. And our Ben doesn't feel pain. Music, this guy earlier, he said, I do construction. The doors are going to stay up. Oh, nope. You do not talk to him like that. Oh, you didn't see the glass there. We went from durability testing cars with wheels to humans. Our helper guy is out in the field and I'm going to charge our robot at him. He's not even going to see him coming. Here we go. Here he goes. Here he goes. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Ben. Oh, this is going to be great. I want to test if the robot can ride. All right, here we go. What human could do that? I might tire out first. Look how fast he's going, bro. He's going to fall. He's going to fall. Oh my god. How did he walk up that? That's steep. Look. Show. Hey, we're all exhausted, bro. Like, oh no. I think he died. That's 30 minutes uphill and downhill. Really steep. Like 5% grade. We are downtown Nashville. We're going to unload Ben. He's all blinged out. He's got some shoes on. He's got a chain. He shouldn't get robbed in Nashville. He's taking the chain. He's taking the chain. Our robot. They insulted him. I don't have anything to worry about cause if the robot goes crazy and attacks someone, it's the robot's decision, bro, applause, thank you all. The future is here and my robot will now be mowing my 2000 acre lawn all alone for the next 6 months. Got it. Starting to mow the lawn. There he goes. What? Oh my god. He's doing really good. Look at that. Brady, what are you doing? A bad man. You want one? I'll be honest, we're having a lot of issues. The robot is very cool. What it's like programmed to do is great, but we are not programmers. We got it looking at the advertisement that it could do flips and tricks and like stand up from its hands and all that. It's not in the pre-programmed moves at all. $16,000 was these hands. They won't take them back. And fun fact, the joint on this finger broke already, so that's broken. Ah, uh, can my kid ride? Yeah, let them on. Special ED. Oh, this is the wrong bus. Really? Oh my god. I'm going to hit you with a truck going 60m an hour. What is the last message you have for everyone before I completely destroy you into a billion pieces? Please don't hit me. I'm way too cool to be flattened by a truck. When robots take over the earth, I want them all to remember this. Please use the remote control to enter the operation control. You to move in, dude. Use the room. No, it was nice knowing Ben. Unfortunately, he's useless and he's playing like a victim. He, you know, he's like, oh, please help me. Oh, no. Please don't hit me. Am I right? I didn't even see him. Ben, wake up. 
No. Call the police. Call 911. I'm an idiot. You see the clanker? Stupid clanker. Oh my god. That was not even the his brain. Please use hay, it's the first robot brain. I got to harvest it. Sell this on the black market. Anyways, there went 80 grand. Yeah. Take his watch. I got to cut his hand off. That's an arm joint. This is a this is a Rolex, by the way. Cut his head off. Oh my god. Oh. Let's come around the corner here. Just me and Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Come here. I need you to rebuild the robot. The box of scraps. I know you can do it. All the parts are here. A leg and a hand. It's all intact. I just need a bigger version. You have three days. I can't do that. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. I need to fly, too, by the way. What? It never did that. Look at this. Actually, look at that. I want this on a necklace, man. Our team of professional robot butchers has brutally chopped the robot into so many pieces. Look how sick that is. Look. So, one of you guys is going to get that. So, 